Welcome back to Supers Live. It's time for post-race interviews and uh, some pretty good racing out there tonight. Two 50-lap features in the bag at Indianapolis Raceway Park, wrapping up the Indiana Supermod Challenge presented by WAG's Custom and Cool Awards. Let's talk to our non-wing winner first, uh, or our wing winner first, uh, from Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, led all 50 laps from the pool. Steady Steve Callahan. Steve, uh, you've been a former champion of this indiana super mod challenge deal and uh, know how to get it done this year was a little tougher with four different races two wing two non-wing all indiana tracks uh what was the toughest one of the deal and and how satisfying was it to get another win here at irp well the toughest race was uh last week at salem and we really stunk up the show there but uh yeah t- tonight it was awesome um you know, uh, got got lucky with the inversion. You know, I was able to start on the pole, clean air out front. And, um, I knew the car was consistent. You know, I wasn't as fast as uh, as Kyle. He was in 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 practice. You know, he had you know couple couple tenths on me every time. So uh, you know, uh, I know if I can get a good start and just hold that bottom, make him go around me on the top, I'd, I'd be all right. We were able to do that. And he was right there the whole time, man. He ran a great race too, and. Uh, you know, ran me real clean. You know, he's it's always it's always fun racing with him, and uh, you know, it's it's just just awesome. I, I tell you, man, it's a real fun night tonight, man. It's a good show, both races. Uh, you know, thank all you guys. You know, best racers in the business here. Steve, what happened there? Uh, looked like you and your teammate had a little action going on uh, early in the non-wing show, and then were able to cycle back up into a podium finish. How? How? What was going on between the fifty-five and forty-one? Uh, that was my fault. I got a little over anxious at the start. Um, uh, Carl kind of got uh, checked up a little bit. And it kind of jumbled us up, and there was a hole there, and I stuck my nose in there instead of being patient. Um, and, uh, Keith, you know, cut down, which, you know, I didn't have the spot. He had the line, but like I said, I stuck my nose in there and, and, uh, knocked him out of the way. And then, uh, later on in the race, uh, he, he got me back. So <laughs> it was, it was an adventure, but, uh, yeah, it, it worked out in the end. It's still, still a fun time. Well, glad you had a good time tonight. Congratulations on the win. Uh, put yourself in the first place going into the second show for the Indiana super mod challenge. So. Good run for you tonight here uh, at IRP, Steve. Thanks, Bob. Well, he didn't have such a great show in the wing show, but he sure had a whale of a race in the second show, uh, that second 50 lapper. Rocket Rob Warren, uh, you had some heat in the form of Kyle Clark trying to pour some Coors Light all over that uh, 35 first to finish race server machine out there how were you able to hold him off especially at the end of that race with all those cautions well first of all congrats to steady steve on that first race win um what an amazing race that was i was sitting behind the 41 um steve's teammate there and keith was working on the seven of nelson rodriguez and that track is so hard to pass on and uh i watched keith work him work him work him and work him when he worked him I was nowhere near uh, close enough to pass uh, Nelson and uh, had a great race with Nelson. I uh, I pushed up, just barely tagged him. We both got all out of shape. We both slowed down. I let him gather it up, take his spot back, and then uh, we went back to race, and it was pretty cool. And then uh, near the end of the race, I was on the outside of him. He really messed up, I think, exit of turn four and uh, lost a ton of momentum. And uh, I went to the outside of him down the straightaway, and that time I didn't have time to let up. Um, I was surprised the caution didn't come out. So, yeah, fourth in the first race, but not for lack of trying. It was great racing. And congrats to Nelson and all the guys. Uh, You know, Kyle for having such a fast car and racing with Steve so clean. Um, Keith for, uh, you know, going after the leaders, reel them in. Nelson for... uh, having a fast car after having a week off. And then the second race, wow, what a show. Um, I really needed those cautions. I was wrecking the right front tire. Um, 
didn't set it up loose enough to start, but also didn't want to have it too loose to not be able to drive and correct. So uh, got a little bit of work to do there, and then uh, saw saw Kyle come right back again. Saw him get by the 25 there, and I'm like, oh no, here he comes so, so fast. And just lucky to be uh, in the lead at the time so I could uh, time my start, start the field, and get a run away from him because he was common. And uh, I really thought with three to go, um, I was kind of surprised when I saw the white flag because I looked and it, it was like three to go. Duh, we got to have the ca caution lap. But, uh, you know, thanks for Kyle for running me so clean. And Kyle gave me a setup for the wing car, so big, huge thanks to Kyle for giving me that setup because I was out to launch and in the wing car. All in all, a good night. I uh, want to thank Icings on Top. I want to thank uh, Wingside Up. And uh, absolutely want to thank uh, Kevin Timmons and Breeze Graphics for all their hard work. Rob Warren doing a great job out there in uh, that second race. You know, the guy that really had the best consistency and best finishes uh, of both races, Kyle Cobra Clark. We've got him in the broadcast booth right now. Kyle, uh, you know, for the longest time, you fought to get your first win, and, and you've got several since. And are you disappointed in running second tonight because you had the fastest race car in both of these shows? I feel like Keith, three seconds in a row. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We want to start, uh, you know, if you're going to lead up to anything for a win, it's next week's Summit Classic 125, so maybe that's something to look forward to. But let's talk a little bit about that that second race, the way you were able to reel in the top two and then go for the win uh, on multiple occasions on those restarts. What do you feel was was exactly what kept you from being able to get around Rob Warren at the end? Um, my non-wing setup was by far the better of the two cars, and ironically, it's the exact same setup as my wing setup, but for some reason, the brake file and tire file seemed to like that setup better. Um, towards, once I got past you, the left rear and the right front were going pretty bad, and I needed I needed green la green flag laps, and of course Rob liked the caution because Rob got a great jump every single caution, and I'm like, come on, we can't have any more cautions. I'm never going to catch him. If I had four five laps, I was right there, but then a caution would come out, and um, I needed a couple more laps under green at the end instead of just those two because I couldn't get back up to him. Um, I would have I would have been pretty aggressive because I, coming out of the corners, I could get on it a lot earlier than him, and I knew I could. Um, but I just didn't, didn't have time to get the tire temps up after that caution. And, but, hey, I'm, I'm happy. Two seconds, I'm happy. You know, the first one I started second, but the second one I started sixth and uh, made it up to second. So I'm happy with that. It was it was fun and frustrating at the same time, racing Steve and Rob, um, two great guys to race against, super clean. But, uh, you know, it was really hard to keep it <laughs> keep it clean when I was carrying more momentum. I just was just just couldn't get by either one of them. They ran a great race. Well, congratulations, Kyle! Two second place finishes here tonight. A good run, all in all, for the Indiana Supermod Challenge after missing the first one of the season. Well, it's time to announce our Indiana Supermod Challenge champion. The Indiana Supermod Challenge, presented by Wags Custom and Cool Awards, is the winner of the Indiana Supermod Challenge uh, coming out on top after four races and taking home a bag of Yoder's award-winning Indiana popcorn. Rocket Rob Warren. Congratulations, Rob. It, it, there's a series that it doesn't seem like there's one that you haven't won. This was one. 
and you finally picked it up and just by a slim margin over Steve Callahan. How's it feel to be the Indiana Super Mod Challenge champion? Well, I thought it was going to slip away. I knew I was uh, leading it coming into tonight, and with that fourth place finish in the first race, I'm like, oh boy, you know, we got to really pick it up here for the second race. And uh, I forgot to thank, uh, thank, uh, was it Yoder's? <laughs> yeah, you. Y- Yoder's uh, Yoder's Popcorn Wags Custom Cool Awards. Yeah, thank you, Wags Custom Cool Awards and Yoder's Popcorn. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I have not won an India- Indiana uh, championship before. Um, this this is uh, pretty sweet, you know. Rounding out the season and everybody is so stinking fast. It's uh, it, it's just uh, so much fun to race against these guys, you know. As, as clean as you can be. And as tight as you can be, um, that's what we got going on right now. It's it's pretty amazing. Well, you're kind of in an elite club uh, as the Indiana Super Mod Challenge champion. Uh, 2004, Miles Maxson has the most with uh, five of them. Ray Sand Jr., three. Actually, Maxson has six. Sand Jr., three. And then all single winners... Last year it was Joe Oxett, Steve Callahan in 2015, 2016. And you got to go all the way back to 2005 and 6 to find a different winner that doesn't have the last name of Maxson or Sand. And that was Randy Ritzkes. So, Rob, congratulations. Uh, uh, another great accomplishment in your super modified sim racing career. And uh, hope you'll enjoy that Yoder's award winning popcorn. Thanks, buddy. And that's some great company to be in. Um, Miles and uh, and Ray, amazing racers. Uh, looking forward to the time when they can uh, settle down and come back to racing with us because uh, things will change then. Uh, we'll be chasing the yellow 18 or a, or a whatever the, the 78 was. Uh, I think it was white, but uh, I, I rarely ever saw it because it was so fast. It certainly was. Congratulations again, Rob. A, a great way to round out the evening here tonight fans uh you can watch rob warren steve callahan kyle clark and the rest of the supers gang next week on monday as they get set to time trial for the season ending summit classic 125 at madera speedway this uh season ending show is 125 laps long that's coming up on tuesday evening but monday night we're going to lock in the front row and run the heat races to qualify the rest of the drivers for the starting lineup So make sure you tune in to Supers Live next week on Monday, live at 9 p.m. for time trials and heat races, as we'll bring you the full show from that uh, time trial extravaganza and qualifying extravaganza as well for the heat races. And then on Tuesday, it's the granddaddy of all super modified sim races. When it comes to the longest running super modified sim race, nothing can hold a candle to this 125 lapper in its 14th season. You get to watch it live on supers.net and supers online on Twitch. So make sure you go to supers.net to find out more information about those races as well as the real super modifieds. Don't forget, you can watch real super modified racing at the same track that you watch super modified sim racing at tonight. Lucas Oil Raceway coming up in September, the Midwest Super Modified Series. Getting back on the track. It'll be the first time. Since 1995, Super Modifieds have done battle at that historic 5 8 racetrack in Claremont, Indiana. So for everybody here at Supers, we're thankful that you tuned in tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to come back Monday for the time trials of the Summit Classic 125. I want to say thank you to our production manager, Kevin Timmons. Breeze Graphics for all the wonderful graphics throughout the event. First to finish race servers. For the fantastic server quality, all of our servers built in-house. We don't rent, we own. Folks, want to say thanks uh, to Yoder's Popcorn and Wags Custom Cool Awards for sponsoring the Indiana Super Modified Challenge. I'm Bob Gang. We're until this coming Monday. I want to remind you to keep it wing side up and wheels to the ground. It's almost May, and it's time for some more great open wheel racing in the state of Indiana. Keep it wing side up and wheels to the ground. See you on Monday.
someone you love And if you're going through it I say do it with someone you love I've been around a long time In and in and out of love But if you're gonna do it I say do it with someone you love Come on, do it 